lasagna roll-ups with three cheeses. The oven is hot to 450, very hot oven. The rack is in the center of the oven. We're going to roast the cauliflower for about 12 minutes at a very high temperature. Um, it'll be tender, crisp, but brown on the outside. And then we'll put that off to the side to top the rolled pasta. I save all of the stems and leaves, they're delicious. And I just chop them up and I've got pretty small florets here. We're going to dress this with good olive oil. Oh, about a quarter cup salt and pepper. And a little dried sage. Or thyme, either one. And if you like, you can add a little sprinkle of granulated garlic. And then you're going to toss this together to try and distribute the oil and scatter it onto a baking sheet. We're gonna to top this with a little bit of parm cheese. I'd say I have about three quarters of a cup. And then we put our cheesy cauliflower into the hot oven. For the pasta, you're going to undercook the pasta. And it'll depend on which lasagna you choose. If you get a curly edge or a thicker lasagna, cook it about six minutes to soften it. These are egg pasta, long, skinny sheets. And we're just gonna cook these about three minutes in salted boiling water. So I have four tablespoons of butter melted in this back skillet, and I sprinkle in about the same amount of flour. Give it a whisk, of course, to combine. Warm the milk ahead of time. So we're gonna add two and a half cups of whole milk. Whisk that together and let it thicken up a bit, and we're gonna season it with salt, white pepper, and nutmeg. In this bowl, I took about two cups of fresh ricotta that I drained. I took about 12 ounces of trimmed, trimmed of the rind, sweet gorgonzola, and about three quarters of a cup, again, of parmigiano, reggiano. Then I'm going to take one egg, lightly beat it. We're gonna add a little Pasted or grated garlic, just one clove, handful of parsley. And then we mix this together. As soon as we're pliable, we're good because this is gonna go back into a hot oven and bake. So I'm gonna carefully drain this and you want to arrange the drained pasta on clean kitchen towels that I have set here ready to go. See, I have one for the bottom, another for the top. I'll put a little parchment on it. You just want to protect them after you drain them. So if the pasta you buy is a square or like a, a small rectangle, 16. If it's large like this, a half sheet of fresh, of fresh pasta is what this is. Well, they dried it, but it's an eggy pasta, which is why it cooks so quickly. You're gonna end up with eight guys that look like this, okay? And I poured about, oh, a third or so of our bechamel in the bottom of a casserole. And look, you've used all the filling, and all I do is this, that's it. Take a spatula and just spread this. So then we take the rest. Of our bash, our white sauce. Get that over the top of everybody. I'm gonna grab a little more parm. Here's our roast collie. And now we're going to dial the oven back and put in our beautiful lasagna rolls with three cheese. Then we're going to take a little parsley and then for texture, those pistachios. Also have our beautiful roast cauliflower with parm. And again, you're gonna go right down the center so that you can have eyes on every element of the dish. And so it's easy to portion as you remove everything. 